Lucas Media. So I'm looking at this article, hiphopdx.com. Young Buck, he doesn't rule out a G, another G Unit reunion. Now, he was doing an interview on the Ed Clay show, and the rapper talked about just the whole 50 Cent thing and social media. Quote, it's just one of those situations where a lot has been said and done from my end as well as he is. We've never had a chance to sit down and talk like men face to face. Also, 50 does a lot of things on social media wise, so it tends to put us in a compromised position where our friends have to pick sides. They really don't know the truth. They're coming up with what they think it is. And he has a bigger platform. So if he says this, then it seems like everybody immediately uh, thinks that, oh, he's right. Now, he did say also, I don't have nothing to say. In regards to us at this point, I had a great run. He elaborated before Theron starts about the future. Okay, that's what the interviewer said. I could come back to G Unit and tour. And could I come back to G Unit and tour and get money together? Yeah, I'm open to that. Now, here's the thing, right? They've been going back and forth really since what, 07, 08? Y'all remember when 50 leaked that call, which is still on YouTube, of Young Buck talking. He was emotional and basically saying, I know I owe you money and I ain't got no money. So this has been a, a really a few going on, what, 16 years? And I know there was beefing for a while. Young Buck went to federal jail. He he got out and then they re reunited again. And then honestly, I don't know what was what happened between that time. But then they got to going back at it again. And, you know, Young Buck got put in allegedly compromising situations and you know 50 he's <laughs> transitioned to one of the biggest trolls online so they've been going back and forth like i said it ain't nothing serious it's online but still right and also they've been in legal court here's my honest thoughts of course young buck gonna want to reunite with G-Unit because you're gonna get a lot of money Y'all just seen that 50 went on that, uh, what's that, Victory Lap Tour? Final Victory Tour? If y'all, y'all let me know in the chat. But, um, they went on the tour, and, I mean, they selling off shows, it was a world tour, they was adding on dates. Final, Final Lap Tour, my bad. Yeah, they was adding on dates, and everybody came out. You know, he had a lot of people come perform. And even for my younger audience, I mean, 50 was that guy, man. Especially that, but the he was he was a mixtape legend. G Unit was they were mixtape legends, and then he 50 had a hell of a run. The first album basically went platinum in a week. Y'all remember? <laughs> remember back then, albums came out on Tuesdays, and they leaked the album, and I believe they released it like three or four days early. And then it sold what eight hundred thousand, and then the next week it sold another eight hundred thousand. I remember because I can't wait to get that out. I was right for my sixteenth birthday. So the album leaks, and then within two weeks he almost he goes what he says one point six million. So fifty had that buzz. Even the second album, which most of us thought was a disappointment to the first album, went platinum the first week. So fifty has this mega buzz. And we know that whatever 50 attaches himself is dollar signs, like a vitamin water and all of that, right? But Buck, honestly, bro, I don't think 50 want to do it no more. He's joked about he wished the whole G-Unit thing didn't wouldn't have happened. He don't need G-Unit. See, 50 did something that a lot of artists never did. And that's put they artists on. He jumped on, on the songs. He helped write the songs or compose the songs, right? He had them in commercials and all of that. And you never really seen them prosper like that. Like, I mean, Tony Ayo was now coming out, but like none of them had their own record labels. None of them put out that many albums like that. So 50 looking at it like, man, I don't need y'all. Y'all costing me money. And 50 has moved on, Buck. 50s into making mo shows who would have ever thought that 50 would have power and raising canaan and bmf and he's on a whole nother level now 
So I don't think he really cares to go on tour anymore. And if he does, he don't need y'all. He can go up there by himself and get a random hype man and make several hundred thousand dollars a show. So I don't know. I think the G Unit train has officially left the G Unit train as we know it. Maybe they'll do one show together one day, but I just personally can't see it. I think that times have just moved on and 50 knew it. And he just transitioned into different things. That's just like Rihanna, right? People want Rihanna to make another album. She ain't even thought about it. She birthed two billion. Who who's gonna think about making another album, honestly? And I think that's just worth fifty yet. He over there making millions off them shows. He got people really wanting to watch these shows. I was just at somebody's house and they literally paused everything just to watch Raising Canaan and got on the phone like and these are shows that's produced by 50 and it is team so it was like buck he ain't thinking about it man honestly but i want to get my quick thoughts about it what y'all think